I swam down to the reef as quickly as possible to try and get away from the current. And I quickly noticed that there were big shoals of Germans, similar to bronze bream, that were tucked up in the little recesses, trying to hide from the current itself. And at the time, this seemed like a pretty good idea to me because I was being buffeted along the top of the reef at quite an alarming rate. In these little crevices, the current sort of stalled and I ended up diving right down into the bottom of the big pothole at the cathedral. So in effect, I was out of the, the power of the current completely. And the ragged tooth sharks obviously had exactly the same idea. They were lying in the, the tighter recesses of the cathedral, not out and about as much as before. Obviously the current having a little bit of an effect on them. Very dramatic scenery as usual. And the sharks really taking it easy in these little dark corners where the buffeting forces of the passing water wasn't affecting them at all. I lay here for quite a while just staring at, at this bunch of sharks and I'd read recently that the South African East Coast population of ragged tooths are the last largely unaffected, unthreatened group of ragged tooths on the planet. So I find myself in this situation in this pothole, hiding from the current with part of our natural heritage that we should really be quite proud of. And watching these sharks living, pumping water across their gills and functioning as they do, largely unaffected, is quite a nice feeling. I always got the feeling that they were eyeballing me, very cognizant of where I was, what I was doing and how I was behaving. And these little piggy eyes constantly scoping out what I was up to. Every now and again a shark would come out over the little sandy patch, only to return back into the shadowy recesses of the cathedral. One gets the sense that these sharks are fairly sluggish, and while this may be true some of the time, they are able to move unbelievably quickly. And I think this is how they, they catch their food. It's the side snap of the head that's quite startling. Now these two are unintentionally frightened, regretfully so, but it illustrates how quickly these creatures can move. I then headed out of the cathedral and was at the mercy of the Alloil Express, as the locals call it. The current literally ripped me along the outside edge of the Alloil Shoal. And I'm not swimming at all here. This is just the current carrying me 